Welcome to the definitive inclinometer video. Now for the dozens of you who are as obsessed with inclinometers as I am, you're stoked. For the rest of you, don't leave. We're gonna learn something. The inclinometer is also known as a pitch and roll gauge or a tilt meter or a clinometer. Do you know what I'm talking about yet? You probably do, but just in case, let's take a look. Put in my handy dandy demo. Imagine if this was on the dashboard of this Mitsubishi. As you turn, it tilts, and as it leans, the horizon stays steady on a little bobblehead. You see what's happening. You're probably also noticing that it's not maybe working all that well. So we need to come to point number one about inclinometers is uh, they're not exceptionally functional. They're mostly decorative, but they do look really cool. And let's be real, looking cool is at least 25% of what makes off-roading fun. Now these are factory options on some Toyotas, some Mitsubishis, old ones of course, and uh, in modern trucks, oftentimes it's part of the digital display like F-150, uh, Chevy Colorado Zero Two, you can call it up, but that's not as cool somehow. The coolest are these old school ones. This was pulled out of an early 90s Mitsubishi Montero, and as you can see, Basically the way it works, it's a little ball inside this liquid with a weight at the bottom. And in theory, as you tilt, the weight keeps it low. So while the vehicle's position changes, the horizon stays the same. And in that way, with the little number gauge, it shows you at what degree you're tilting. Now, as you can see just from me holding it, it's bouncing around a lot, it's a little wacky. Mitsubishi <laughs> was kind enough to include the warning Accurate only when completely stopped. And that applies to any of these. It's mostly for fun. I got this for about 25 bucks at a junkyard. If you were to buy one off somebody parting out a truck, they'd probably want like 150 to 300 bucks for it because these are just so rare. And if, you, if I were to go on a Mitsubishi factory OEM parts website, I bet the list price for this would be like, honestly, it'd be like 600 or $800. I've seen them that high. I don't really know why. I think it's just the rarity, the coolness. So you want one of these, you've established, obviously, after my great sales pitch. And now you're like, well, shit, I don't want to pay 600 bucks for this goofy toy that doesn't work. I'm with you. I didn't either. <laughs> That's why I went online and tried to see which inclinometers I could buy. And my indecisiveness dictated that I had to buy all of them. So let's start with this guy. This you can buy for about 15 bucks. The design is almost identical to the factory Mitsubishi one, isn't it? The cool thing about this is you can actually adjust the baseline. So if you wanted to mount it tilted, you could adjust that. However, it doesn't work all that great. Now I think we could make it work by hitting it and come on. It's, this is not a very good working one, but it does light up. Come on. Oh, you're really embarrassing me now. There we go. It lights up and it attaches with uh, a mount similar to a GoPro mount. So if you wanna use that, there's a decent option cosmetically. It's also nice and big. If you like this style, but want one that works a little better, but is smaller, I might recommend this little guy. These are about nine bucks. They're available from a million vendors. This one works pretty nicely. It's gliding. Yeah, oh, it's good. You can tilt the baseline again. So if you wanna mount it on the side, you can do that. Here's with the sticky. It's not a particularly elegant design, but it works. There's a decent option. Now, if you want to have something that looks a little more automotive, a little cooler maybe, Smitty Built, the only company here that you might have heard of, offers one with two gauges. Two is better than one because I think it looks a little cooler. This one actually has a nice smooth action. Smitty Built calls it a clinometer, and I like how they've completely just abandoned the idea of putting like an exact degree measurement. It's just one, two, three. It says times 10, but yeah, it's just, it's just for fun. They used a modded JK. So if you have a modded JK Wrangler, the graphic is perfect. If not, you can dismantle it and maybe get a sticker made of your car if you're ambitious. This one, uh, you'll notice has a little wire so you can run it in with your car's interior lights. And we flick the headlights on this will light up and look a little more factory, which will be cool. It mounts with a sticky thing on a bracket. And my kind of beef with it though, is it works fine if you mount it this way, like, all right, but then what if you wanted to mount it up high? Well, my friends, you can do that too. 
with my favorite of is the car plus accessory land meter which i've already partially dismantled i love the way they've made use of the clear gauge to make it look cooler more layered and they've used a nice and generic vehicle icon so this does look like something that might be in a factory uh factory gauge now i i dismantled it because i wanted to show you how you can set these up like if i wanted to put it down here okay it's lined up flat but if i wanted to put it above my rear view mirror uh, it's all tilty, so what do you do? Well, if I were to unscrew these other ones, I could adjust it and reset it for however I want. Now, let's say you actually care a little bit. Oh, no, oh God, Whew. Let's say you actually cared a little bit more about a specific reading. Now, of all the inclinometers I've tested besides phone apps, but those don't look cool, like we said, the Sun Company one, Specifically, the level O gauge 8 is totally where it's at. This was about, I think it was about 15 bucks. And what I like about this one is the action is so smooth and the build quality is really good. So this one goes from 0 to 15 degrees in fine increments and then all the way up to 30. Now, 30 is all you're going to need. <laughs> because if you've ever been off-roading, 30 degrees of tilt is pretty intense. Even 20 is going to feel pretty steep. I mean, some vehicles are capable of tilting further than that, but you're gonna be you, you're gonna be sweating for sure. So I think this is plenty. Uh, the, but the big downside here, of course, it doesn't have that cool like automotive look, and it only goes gives you side to side, so you don't get that front back pitch. But it's pretty good. So there you go, my friends. If you want an inclinometer, and you do because they're cool, this is a great working one. The Sun Company Level O Gauge Eight. The Car Plus Accessories Land Meter is my favorite looking one. And of course, if you gotta go factory, you gotta go junkyard diving. Anyway, I know I wish we could go wheeling and it sucks to be cooped up inside, but since we can to play with toys, we might as well take this time to put some cool accessories in your rig and get ready for the next riding season. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.